All right, I want to welcome everybody to Bishop Colony High School, the site of today's NG NJCAA matchup between the Bristol Community College Bayhawks and visiting Ben Franklin. Hi, everybody. I'm, I'm David Cardoza. We're getting set for a Bayhawks basketball. We're going to send it down to courtside for, the, for tonight's starting lineups. Welcome everyone to tonight's NJCAA Region 21 contest with visiting Ben Franklin and your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. We, all, we ask fans, coaches, and players, the NJCAA Region 21 and Bristol Community College are committed to the ideals of good sportsmanship, safety, and fair play. We ask that all fans, coaches, and players show respect for the opposing team, game officials, and each other before, during, and after tonight's game. And now for the visiting, Ben Franklin, Chargers. At freshman of four, number 10, Alize Gilmore. At guard, a sophomore, number 13, Tommy Rio. At guard, a freshman, number 14, Kellyan DeBarros. At forward, a freshman, number 21, Charlie Deacon. At forward, a sophomore, number 22, Jonathan Mola. And now for your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. At guard, a freshman from New Bedford, Massachusetts, number 14, Stanley Freeman. At guard, a freshman from New Bedford, Massachusetts, number 24, Malik Morris. At the other guard, a sophomore from Providence, Rhode Island, number 23, Marcus McCarthy. At forward, a sophomore from East Providence, Rhode Island, number 10, Zach Vega. And at forward, a sophomore from Lake Charles, Louisiana, number four, Josh Wimbush. Bristol Community College is coached by Robert Delalou. All right, I want to welcome everybody. I want to welcome our audience in on here on FR Media Presents Bayhawks Basketball. I'm your play-by-play -play announcer, David Cardoza. As we're getting set to throw this down to courtside for tonight's tip. As the Bristol Community College Bayhawks come in here blazing. They are 21, 20 and 1 in Region 21. They are 22 and 2 overall. Their last loss coming against Sullivan Community College out of the region from New York. So Bristol Community College coming in as the number five team in the country in the NJCAA in Division Three. So they're hot. They only have one regional loss, and that came, that came to Bunker Hill Community College early on in the season. And we're getting for we're getting ready for a tip. I know it's been a while, and we're back, and we're underway here at Bishop Conley High School here in Fall River, Massachusetts. Bristol Community College wearing their traditional home uniforms in white with the green trimming. And in the royal blue with the Chargers. The blue with the yellow number in there. Going to the hole. Having his shot altered by who else? Josh Winbush. Three pointer at the top. No good. Missed by Kelly and DeBarrow. Winbush brings the ball up. Morris thought about it. Kicks it back out. Swing it around. Good ball moving by the Bayhawks. In the corner. Morris for three. Off the side of the rim. Can't get it. Ends up in the hands of McCarthy. And he can't connect with the putback. And I'm David Cardoso with Steve Reese on the fancy camera work. And it's that time of year again, ladies and gentlemen. We're in February. As we're streaking towards the postseason. And the Bayhawks find themselves again in favorable position. Posting up. Three on the shot clock. Fadeaway jumper. It's no good. Not the ball with the miss though. That was a nice, nice fadeaway. Just couldn't connect. Winbush and then Tom for steps. Winbush likes that shot there at the elbow. They can call him for travel. No score early on. 18 boy to play. We're just getting underway. We're at Bishop Conley, home of the Cougars, also home of your Bishop of your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. 
And the Chargers will turn over. It's a sloppy play on both on both sides. Marcus McCarthy. McCarthy at the point. Tried to dump it into Vega. He gets it knocked away. Got a turnover. So both teams turn the ball over on each possession. Driving, going baseline. 15 on the shot clock. Bayhawks playing that patented solid D. Fade away from the, from the elbow is number 13. Tommy Rio tallies the first point of the game. 2-0 charges. Winbush. Freeman can't connect. And there's going to be a foul on the play. It looks like Zach Vega is going to go to the line. And they're going to call a foul on Elise Gilmore. First free throw is good. Vegas second free throw is good. Tie score. Bristol picking up trap at half court. Ben Franklin comes into tonight's contest 7 and 15 in Region 21, 9 and 17 overall. Three pointer is off the mark. Rebound by Morris. Gives it to McCarthy to push it up. One of the best guards in Region 21. Freeman takes it back out. Like the patience here. Freeman, the jumper is no good. Short. Rebound by Winbush. Can't get it to fall. Vega. And they're going to call a foul. They might call it on. Yet they're going to call it on Winbush with the push. That's going to be his first. And we're seeing some sloppy basketball here in the early on. Bayhawks getting a lot of chances on that last possession. Kid connect. Yeah, Bristol clearly with the height advantage. With Baker at 6'3, 6'4, and then Winbush. At 6-7, and there's a loose ball and a, and a putback by number 10. And Elise Gilmore giving the Chargers a lead 4-2. Vega, oh, he got it. Looked like it was going to be a pass, got it blocked. Nice play. Going back the other way into the paint and laying it up strong is Tommy Rio. 6-2. McCarthy kicks it to the wing, but Morris can't connect. Rebound in his bag. Good to see him get on the boards now. Good position there, 6-4. Vega has all the points now for the Bayhawks. Loose ball, going. McCarthy to a swooping Freeman on the wing, ties this game. Six, six early on. That's a deep three, and he nailed it. You sure he nailed it? Jonathan Mola, the three. Going back the other way, McCarthy lays it in. Now we're getting some offense now, 9-8. Up, just with that trap. Got to get it over half court and intercept him. That's what Bristol can make you do. Vega for three, that's going to be way off. Winbush gets it knocked away. Oh, the bounce pass by, by Mola sails out of bounds. He led the barrels way too much on that pass. Had a nice thought with the bounce pass, but I mean, the ball sailed on him. Good, good. 
driving at the free throw line. But Morris going to get his ball tipped. It looks like it was tipped by uh, Jonathan Mola. We got some substitutions for Bristol. Dontel Rodriguez and Malik Charles will come in for Malik Morris and Zach Vega. Bayhawks been getting all kinds of contributions from many people this year. Inside for the dunk, and you're not going to stop that. Nice entry pass and a slam by Winbush. And Bristol has a 10-9 lead. 14-30 to go in the half. Bristol doing a good job initiating that trap. Can't get the basketball, though. There's that fadeaway. Kicked it back out, though. That's a deep three, and it's good. Tommy Rio. Regains the lead for the Chargers. Well, that was a deep three. You got to get out there and defend that. Rodriguez, no good. Three and a high for the rebound. Bristol doing a good job of generating second, second chances. Freeman inside. That's the matchup you want. Just get it to Winbush. There's nobody on the Chargers team right now that, has, that could be an answer for Winbush. Guy's six foot seven with a long wingspan. Got to feed him the basketball. 12 10. Here's steal. Charles tipped it. Freeman. Ends up in the hit back. Charles, Charles can't get, Charles can't get the ball. Gets the pass of McCarthy off the rebound. And score it. We're tied at 12. There's the half court trap. The fourth turnover before. Even the Chargers fit with that, with that trap. And that ball's going to... Looks like they're going to say it's off Charles. Looks like it went off Moe's foot there, but they're going to say Charles touched it. Touched it last. Just under 13 minutes to play, seven on the shot clock. Chargers looking to inbound the corner. Kick it back out. Four. The barrel's no good. It's Tommy Rio. Until Rodriguez pulls up at the free throw line and there's a jumper. Boy, has this kid been good. Rio kicks it back out. Rodriguez almost with the steal there. Going back the other way, McCarthy crosses over and gets it to the paint. Can't get it to fall. Now rebounded by the Barrows. Going baseline and kicking it out. Bayhawks always in the right position. That's good defense. Freeman to a cutting McCarthy. Nice dish. Love the unselfishness. Rodriguez. Only Charles pulls up in the paint. Had his shot altered. And there's a slam. Alter that. Winbush slams it home. Time on the floor. 16 to 12. Bayhawks got the lead. We'll be right back. Right after this. I'm Brianna, and this is my mom, Virginia. My mom always dreamed about going to college, but with a full-time job and a family, I don't think she ever thought she could. Thanks to Bristol Community College, she was able to go to school on weekends, online, and close to home. Now she has a degree with very little student debt, and I can keep dancing. Now is the time to get the education you deserve. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. All right, welcome back to Bayhawks Basketball. I'm David Cardoza, Bristol Community College with a 16 to 12 lead over the visiting Benjamin Franklin Institute of Technology. Want to give a shout out to all of our fans, Bayhawk fans, the Bayhawk faithful all over the world. Want to give a shout out to Tracy Cordero watching in Puerto Rico. Saying great job, Josh Winbush. Josh Winbush with a slam before we went to the break. <laughs> Shout out to Tracy Cordero. Thank you for watching. Bayhawks basketball. And the Bayhawks have a four point lead. Number five team in the country. Bristol actually climbed to up to four. As of a week ago, they were number four team. Just recently dropped to number five. Bayhawks were recently on a nine-game winning streak, most recently defeating Twin Sigma 87 to 85. And 
win of their last regional contest. They'll actually face Quintigamon Community College at 3 p.m. on February 23rd. That's the last game of the regular season. Wimbush, cross court, McCarthy, Freeman going baseline, somehow got it up there. Wimbush with the put back. Score two more for Josh. Play by Winbush, slapping it out there. McCarthy dumps it into Winbush. Tip and a put back, put back attempt by Charles. It's going to stay Bristol basketball. <laughs> Bayhawks have been put, putting up points at an alarming rate this year. They are ranked number four in points per game in the nation with 95.5 points per game. 20 to 12 as Bristol scored again. Another loose ball. Bristol giving the charge to Fitz. Nice pass by Freeman. To McCarthy goes underneath and lays it home. Nice pass there by Freeman. Corner on baseline. And the steal. Steal by McCarthy. Flips it out there to Rodriguez and he's gonna lose it out of bounds. I think you might have led him too much, but Rodriguez just couldn't catch up to it. 22 to 12, and both teams are middling around in the first few minutes, and Bristol has taken control of this one almost halfway through this first half. 22 to 12, 10 17 to play. It's a trap. That's a deep three. Rio can connect. Rebound by Rodriguez. Long rebound. Vega dumps it in. On a double team and Winbush to a Tomahawk jam. Slam a jamma. I'll tell you, there's no way you can, you can do that every single time. Wimbush just getting deep. I mean, he's getting deep on those boys down the block. He's getting deep in the paint. He's just able to do whatever he wants to, down there. Nice pass underneath it. Ooh! Wimbush with a block attempt, but it, it still went home. Nice, nice rifle pass there by Rio. And way to go strong. Another, oh, it's a turnover. Here come the charges. Going into the paint. Rio gets it blocked by Charles. And I'm going to say it's a clean block. Last points, I'm sorry, by Ben, by ben Franklin, but by Charlie Deacon. He had the shot that he had the shot go in that was partially blocked by Winbush. New shot clock for. I almost said San Diego Chargers. Not even the San Diego Chargers, LA Chargers. Ben Franklin Chargers. Kicking it to the corner. Three pointers way off. Caught by Rio. And he puts it up for two. Vega. And then call step. The one thing about the Bayhawks, the thing that makes them a dangerous team and a very successful team. Once you score, or even if you don't score, they're looking to push it right back down your throat. Well-conditioned team, a lot of speed, a lot of athletes. And the jumper is good there. Jonathan Mola pulls up for two. Sophomore forward. Makes it a six-point game. Nice ball movement there. They get it to Winbush, and he'll lay it in. I don't see the charge of stopping it. Yeah. 
the double teams. Three pointer, Mola. No good. Rebounded by Wimbush. Pushing up for Rodriguez. Rodriguez kicks it back out. Vega going baseline. Look at it. Look at it. Slamming home. One of the foul doesn't get it. Deacon going back the other way. And I don't know what he's doing there. Rodriguez pulls up for three, no good. Going back the other way. Vega waiting for him. And boy, altered the shot. Ooh, the three pointer, no good. Tipped up. Bristol, despite being up by eight, playing sloppy basketball. There's a lot of turnovers here. Fadeaway jumper, not successful. Going back the other way, Charles will lay it in. Malik Charles, he's been stepping up his game as of late. Giving Bristol back a 10 point lead. And a first lay in by Deacon. I don't know where the defense was there. That's a, that's a shot that Winbush usually smashes. Loose ball off the jumper, and here come the charges. Rio going in strong into the paint. And then they follow Malik Charles on the drive. All right, we have a timeout on the court. Chargers will call timeout, 28 to 20, 6 way 9 left to play in the first half. We're going to take a break. I'm David Cardoza. You're watching Bayhawks Basketball here on FR Media. Hi, I'm Brianna, and this is my mom, Virginia. My mom always dreamed about going to college, but with a full-time job and a family, I don't think she ever thought she could. Thanks to Bristol Community College, she was able to go to school on weekends, online, and close to home. Now she has a degree with very little student debt. And I can keep dancing. Now is the time to get the education you deserve. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. All right, and welcome back. As you see, the Bayhawks have the lead 28 to 20 with 629 to play here in the first half. Whole team struggle from the floor at the end. From the onset, Bristol has a chance to had a chance to. I mean, has pulled away a little bit in this one, but the Chargers are are hanging around. Bristol um, went to their bench early and had some of their role players sub substitutes come in and and get some time. And now they're going to go back with their with their starting lineup minus number four there, Josh Winbush. Marcus McCarthy out there, number 23. Number 24, Malik Morris. Number five, Malik Charles. Number 14, Stanley Freeman. And number 10, Zach Vega. Rounds out your lineup right now for Bristol on the floor right now. And Josh Winbush, who's been pretty much dominating this game when he wants to. He's on the bench right now for the Bayhawks. Bayhawks have been using that double team to their advantage. They've been getting a lot of turnovers, but they've turned the ball over a lot, and that's why the Chargers are hanging around right now. Crossing over. Driving, putting his head down. I think Freeman might have got a piece of that. Good defense there by the Bayhawks. And it looks like they're going to call a foul there. Gonna call a foul on Kelly into Barrows. That's gonna be his first. Not a lot of fouls. Both teams only have two team fouls here in the first half. Parker shoots it into the corner. Freeman jumper no good. Bristol really hasn't been lighting it up from the three point line, but oh, that three pointer's way off. Chargers track it down. His pivot foot there. Skipping into the lane, taking away, and then taking back. 
Boy, this game is getting a little, a little sloppy. And they're gonna call a foul. It's gonna be on the. It's gonna be on Bristol. And it's gonna be free throws. Stepping up to the free throw line right now, Jonathan Mola. First free throw, no good. Substitution on the court. Number 25, Roshan Brooks will come in for number 10, Lee Gilmore. Five and a half to play in the first half. Second free throw was good. And ben, ben Franklin hanging around here on the on Bristol's home court. That ball deflected. Charles gets a shot blocked. Charles with another possession. And Franklin looks like they, look, they seem like a gritty little team. Not a whole lot of shooters, not a whole lot of overly gifted athletes, but they are hustlers, they're hustlers, they're grinders. They're grinding, they're grinding right now to be to be in there. Down seven. Deacon works his way in on Charles scoring. And Ben Franklin down by five. McCarthy can't connect. Charles gets his stuff stuffed in his face. He let a team hang around this long. Even though it is the first half, to give them some confidence. They shouldn't be in the gym with you. You're the number five team in the country. Step back, Rio. No good. Freeman on the other end. Nice pass there by McCarthy. The assist leader in Region 21. Averaging over seven a game. Freeman scores a couple. Oh, nice pass there in the corner. Deacon short. That was a nice pass there. Tucking it, tucking it through Mola. Freeman driving to his right, fading away. Couldn't connect, and then we get steps on, steps on Vega. Josh Winbush will come in. He's going to come in from Malik Charles. So now you get your starters in there. 30 to 23. Bayhawks, despite their lead, it just seems stagnant. They seem stagnant in offense. Defense is there, but going in, working his way in, kicking it back out. Tommy Rio, three-pointer, no good. That would have been big. Oh, take it away! Nice hustle play there. Taking it away from Freeman. Jonathan Mola. And they're down five. Going baseline, the floater by Vega sinks it home. Vega with two more. They're gonna need him to step up right now. 3.23 to play. Rocky on ball. Rio gets a step on him, lays it in. Rio, you can see him, you can see him getting that step. McCarthy trailing the play. Good job by Rio laying it home. 32-27. Real seven to play. Both teams going three team fouls again. Oh, nice pass it by Freeman. Tamora puts it up with the left. 34 27. Stolen. Freeman, nice pass to the open court. McCarthy to the trailer. I mean, no other than who? Mr. Winbush. And Bristol extends their lead to nine. And Winbush leading score here in the first half. Loose ball. Going to the lane. Gilmore somehow gets that to go home. Vega. Going up, no good. Freeman, no good. McCarthy gets knocked in the back and 
believe it's going to be in the act of shooting. He'll go to the line 4-2. Or maybe not. I thought he was shooting when he got pushed in the back. Foul's going to be a number 14. And number 14 is Tommy as uh, Kelly in the barrels. That's his second. Bristol inbound underneath their own basket. Again, good job. Good job there by number 10, Elise Gilmore, to, to front Winbush. Going to have to double team him. Going to have to have a guy try to front him and a guy in back of him. You're going to try to stop Winbush right now. For someone else to beat you, they'll dump it in. There it is. Nice pass there by McCarthy. Winbush with the easy two. How do you negate that? Winbush with the clear height advantage. Obviously, up by nine. Rio kicks it to the corner. Deacon over Winbush, can't get to connect. Rebounded by McCarthy. McCarthy, Marcus McCarthy throws that one out of bounds. 30 second timeout. 30 second timeout here on the floor. And we're going to keep it here. A minute 37 to play, 38 29. Marcus McCarthy threw that one out of bounds. Speaking of McCarthy, a couple weeks ago he was the NJCAA Division III Men's Basketball Player of the Week. And he's been on a tear lately. Marcus McCarthy now leads the team in points per game with 17.1. And this has been his team. And I feel like when he has the basketball, good things are going to happen. Guy's just always in good position to either shoot, pass, drive. Call it the triple threat position. And he's a triple threat to do any of those things. He can pull it from deep, but you have to wait because he's, he's but you, you, you get to get a respect the shot. But you, all, you also got to respect the fact that he can blow by you, get into the lane, hey, yo, hey, yo. split the defense and dish the basketball. So you're going to be cognizant of all that with Mark McCarthy. He's put up, he's put up double doubles. And he's got numbers and rebounds too. So Mark McCarthy is, we know that he's a floor general, but he, he looks to be the guy. Going strong, Deacon. Winbush with a block. Winbush leads Division uh, Region 21 in blocks, averaging 3.6 per game. Number two in blocks in the nation, Josh Winbush. Rio from the free throw line can't get it to go, and Winbush snaps that to another rebound. Coming up, I'm in a minute to play in the first half. Winbush takes it from the free throw line, kicks it into the corner, Morris for three, no good. Oh, Winbush somehow gets the rebound, twirling around, can't get it to go. And Gilmore comes up with it. And Rio will throw that off a Bayhawk player, Freeman. 48.9 to go. And Ben Franklin, give them all the credit in the world. They've hung around in here with their hustle. Getting in bounds, 20 on the shot clock. Bayhawks and man, three point shot, pulls it. No good. Wimbush with the rebound. Ola couldn't hit. Rodriguez for three. Off the mark. Morris. And I think he's going to be going to the line for two. And they're going to call another foul there on Kelly and DeBarros. Ben Franklin coach going to probably should get him out of the game. McCarthy, first free throw is good. <laughs> Bayhawks faithful likes it. Bristol up by 10, 39-29. All nines on the board, 39-29 with 29.9. To go in the half. Second free throw is good. 40 to 29. And Bristol has their largest lead of the first half, up 11.
Yeah, if you're try, you definitely want to definitely want to hold for the last shot here. You don't need to shoot it too quick here into the clock. Try to get some points. Go into the first. Go into the half. Down by single digits. It'll be a win. Rio, two on the clock. Spins and that ball is behind the backboard. Rio wanted a foul call of some sort. He's not going to get it. Tenth of a second left. Winbush will just inbound. And oh, he's going to get it off. <laughs> what a count did he cut that off with a tenth of a second? Doesn't go, but nice effort there. 4 to 29. Bayhawks have the lead. Thank everybody for watching on our Facebook live stream on our Bristol Community College Athletics page. Watching everywhere. So Bayhawks have the lead at the half, 4 to 29. Stay tuned for a second half action. Here on FR Media, Bayhawks basketball. Welcome back to Bishop Conley High School here in Fall River, Massachusetts, where your Bristol Community College Bayhawks lead Benjamin Franklin Institute of Technology 40 to 29 at the half. How are you doing, everybody? I'm David Cardoza. You're watching Bayhawks basketball. Thanks everybody for watching on our live stream. And uh, the Breha Bayhawks come into today's game 21 in Region 21, 22 and 2. Overall, so the Bayhawks have had a, they've been they've been rolling. They've had a great season, and um, recently came off a nice long winning streak. Their last loss in a long time was against Sullivan County from New York, and um, Bristol is they've climbed up. They've been climbing up the national rankings, going from nine just a few weeks ago to number five, and it's got they've gotten as high as number four in today's game. Josh Winbush. 16 points. I mean, he's been a monster. Ben Franklin does not have the answer for Mr. Windbush. He hails at six foot seven. You know, over 200 pounds. They cannot find an answer for him. Also getting in on the action. Um, Malik Charles with four. Zach Vega with six. But it's been mostly Josh Windbush. It's been he's been the guy. And if, you know, the if the Chargers, Ben Franklin Chargers, if they can find the somewhat of an answer for Mr. Windbush, they'll be in business for the Chargers for themselves. Tommy Rio leads the way with 11, the sophomore guard. And forward Jonathan Mola has eight. So they've been leading the Chargers charge, so to speak. We're getting ready for second half action here from Fall River. And there's not, not too many games left here in the season. You got tonight's game. And then they don't, Bayhawks don't play again until next Tuesday on the road at CCRI, seven o'clock start there. And then again, and then again on the road next Saturday at Northern Essex Community College. That's February 16th. And the Bayhawks will close with two home games, two big ones. A one, a game that I'm sure everybody is circling on their calendar when the Bayhawks face Bunker Hill Community College, their only loss in Region 21. And that game's on February 19th. And then the Bayhawks will close the season out against Quinn Sigamon Community College on Saturday afternoon. Sophomore day, sophomore night. Run the way here. Stay tuned for more Bayhawks basketball. We're winding down, getting to the nitty gritty here in the season. And it's been a great season. Morris driving to the lane, loses out of bounds, so stay Bayhawks basketball. Driving to the hole. Morris, that one side of the backboard. Winbush just pulled that one out like it was nothing. Freeman, nice alley to Vega for two. Freeman says some defense, a good job with some passes there. He said a good job of finding people for sure. Vega has eight. Mola. Don't know why he shot that. Freeman in the open court now. Freeman going all the way to the rack. It's blocked by Deacon. McCarthy to Vega. 
try to get it to Winbush and it's stolen away. Mola, cross court pass. Rio pulls up for three and then call step. He might have hurt his leg there. He's gonna. Yeah, he hurt his leg there. I'm not sure what happened there. Sean Brooks will come in, number 25. He'll come in for the, for the charges. So the other guy cannot has to let him land. Freeman kicks it back out. McCarthy thought about it. Throws it to the corner. Morris a three. The Bayhawks can't just, they cannot buy an outside bucket right now. Their shooters, Morris, McCarthy, Vega, those guys can't buy a bucket from the outside right now. Gilmore. Mola picks up his dribble. Don't want to do that against the Bayhawks. Freeman. I mean, Dinkin, I'm sorry, goes baseline, gets it blocked, I believe, by Winbush. Now, Baker in the open court. And they're going to call an offensive foul. And they're going to call it on Vega. Good job there by number 22, Jonathan Mola, getting to the spot, taking a charge. Bristol just playing all sorts of sloppy on the offensive end. Defense has been good for the Chargers, of course, and a lot of errors for themselves. They've been kicking themselves in the foot. Talking about Ben Franklin. If you're just joining us, second half action here from Bishop Conley. Here on FR Media, your Bayhawks broadcasting network. McCarthy flips it to Vega, drops it down to Winbush, and they're going to call a foul. Let's see what's on. Looks like it's on number. It's going to be on number 14. That's his fourth. Foul's going to be on Kelly and the Barrows. Winbush will go to the free throw line. And that free throw is way off. Bayhawks not showing up there, not having their best offensive performance. I mean, it's 42 right now. I mean, you can look up in five minutes, and they could be at, they could be at like 70. But right now, both free throws missed by Winbush right there. Tommy Rio back in the game. That's good for that's good news for the Chargers. And that ball picked up. Going the other way. Vega slams it home with two hands, no problem. And that's the biggest lead now for the Bayhawks. 15-point lead. Deacon. Easy block here by Winbush. Oh, and they're taking away and going and slamming it in the open court. That leaves Gilmore. Taking it away from Winbush. Moore stakes and goes baseline and goes out of bounds. Comes up limping. 44 31. That last play, that last takeaway by Gilmore and slam, that was big for the Chargers. Stop that Bayhawks momentum. Crossing over Rio. Get it back out. Gilmore, 12 on the shot clock. Oh. Oh, gets it inside and it's going to get stolen away. Losing control of it. Vega. Throws it up to Winbush! The slammer jammer. Hammer, hammer. Hammer tie with the Winbush. 46. 31. Vega gets it to the paint. Flips it to Freeman. Somehow gets it to fall. This game's been all Josh Winbush there. We gave the two points to the wrong team, sir. Slamming on the other end, the other, and then 
come back down and getting that dish to Freeman who somehow I'm not sure where that shot came from from the hip 50 55 to play we're gonna take a short break we'll come right back after this Hi, I'm Brianna and this is my mom Virginia my mom always dreamed about going to college but with a full-time job and a family I don't think she ever thought she could. Thanks to Bristol Community College, she was able to go to school on weekends, online, and close to home. Now she has a degree with very little student debt. And I can keep dancing. Now is the time to get the education you deserve. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. Welcome back to Bishop Conley here in the river. 48 to 31. And your Bayhawks have taken command of this one. Four minutes into the second half. It was 40 to 29 at the half. An 11 point lead. Now it's 48 to 31, a 17 point lead. So Bristol not playing their, their best basketball by any means, especially offensively. Looking a little stagnant at times, definitely not shooting well from the perimeter or from the outside at all. Outside the paint, numbers are lowly, that's for sure. But they're getting it done in the defensive end and the Chargers have done, they haven't um, done themselves any favors. They, you know, commit a lot of turnovers. Freeman, try to complete the three point play. Can't connect in the free throw. Rio will bring the ball up for Ben Franklin. Rio being got up by Rodriguez. Mola into the corner. Deacon down low. Fadeaway jumper. It's good. That's a good matchup right there. Gilmore getting the position. A little step back. 15 point lead. Cross court pass. Freeman back out. McCarthy thought about it. And that ball was stolen by Gilmore, then he stepped, he stepped out of bounds. Gilmore had it. Foot was on the line. Rodriguez to inbound. Gets it inside to Winbush. Easy two. And it's been all Winbush all night. Crossing over, getting in. Oh, it's blocked by Winbush. Bolton, like a ball of lightning. McCarthy all the way to the basket for two. Quiet night for him. Well, that could ignite him right there. Under 15 to play, 52-33. Mola, three-pointer, no good. McCarthy, Bolton again. And he goes, loses it, out, loses it to Deacon. Mola. Loose ball, Freeman. McCarthy, nice body control, puts it up off the glass and in. Another assist there by Freeman. Oh, Mola going all the way and lays it in. Nice little stutter step there, gets to the lane. Nobody put it, nobody got in front of him, nobody put a body on him. Nobody front, nobody stopped ball. 54-35. McCarthy in the corner for three. And McCarthy, don't let him get going. 57-35. Don't let the Eminem show get going. That's a deep three by Rio, no good. Rebounded by McCarthy. And they're gonna call double dribble on him. We got some substitutions. Zach Vega will come out. Coming in, number 15, Dominic Santos. Getting some burn today. Number five, Malik Charles. Comes in for the Bayhawks. Mola 
Got a big body going to back down Santos. And Santos with a reach in foul. 13 15 to play. Bristol with the highest ranking they've ever had. Good up the highest score, number five. Think about that, number five team in the country. Deacon, the shot in the corner. Nice shot by it by Deacon for two. Winbush, another slam. Pass by McCarthy. And Winbush is just jamming, jamming, jamming. Jamming. 59 to 37. There he is, Wimbush. And they're going to call travel. They're going to call travel on Wimbush there. I thought the, um, I thought a charges player, I thought he got his hand. Wimbush went up and down. Looks like a Chargers player knocked the ball out of his hand. Nonetheless, Bristol picking up man. Man, Charles playing good defense. All in, all in low shorts. And they're going to call carry. And the Chargers will turn the ball back over. Chargers were hanging around. Bristol seemed to just be toying with them. It's now Bristol's up by 22. Charles going baseline, kicks it back out. Oh, nice pass. Ooh, look at this, look at this display, this passing display, this unselfish display. Rodriguez for three, D-Rod. My homie, 62 to 37. Coming up on 12 minutes to play. Mola for three, way off the mark. McCarthy, buzzing like a bee, no look pass. There it is, tune up the band. We're jamming. Winbush throws it home. 64 to 37. Lights out, 11.45 to play. We're gonna take a timeout here. You're watching Bayhawks basketball here on FR Media. My mom, Virginia. My mom always dreamed about going to college, but with a full time job and a family, I don't think she ever thought she could. Thanks to Bristol Community College, she was able to go to school on weekends, online, and close to home. Now she has a degree with very little student debt, and I can keep dancing. Now is the time to get the education you deserve. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. All right, welcome back to Bishop Conley High School. 64 to 37, Bayhawks have the lead. 11.45 to play. Bristol trying to, Bristol trying to improve on the season, trying to improve to 23 and two overall as the number five team in the country. We look at uh, Bayhawks versus Chargers in recent years. Last year, 106 to 49, the last meeting around this time, February 8th of last year, 106 to 49. Bristol with a dominating effort. And that's the way it looks right now. From the river. And look at Bristol with the, with the trap, with the full court pressure. Up by almost 30. Coach Del Lu going in for the kill. And there it is, it's a trap. Could be a foul, right? Heard a really faint whistle, not sure what happened. It's going to be uh, Ben Franklin basketball. Be fit. That's what it says in the uniform. I like it. I like it. 
Benjamin Franklin Institute of Technology in Boston. Try to stay inbound. Bristol's defense, just immense. Rebound, Charles. Charges with another miss. Rodriguez pulls up for three. No good. Charlie Dickey with the rebound. Rio. And they're going to call a blocking foul. Looks like it's going to be on D Rod. They're going to call a blocking foul. And Rio will step up to the line for two. Josh Winbush for Bristol tonight. Man, he's just been immense. A lot of dunks. Well, five dunks for him. Get away jumper. In the lane, no good. McCarthy swings it over. Rodriguez going to pull it. No good. I think they're going to call a foul on Winbush. Are. That's going to be his second foul. They're going to call a push on the rebound there. 16 fouls for Bristol. Ben Franklin finished the first half with 29 points. They now have 37, only eight points in this half. And we're halfway through this half. Zach Vega will come in. Winbush will go will come out along with Dominic Santos. Malik Morris also in. Going into the lane. The finger roll. I love George Gervin. Count it. And McCarthy will go to the line. Trying to extend this lead to 30. And you knew it was only a matter of time before that man right there is going to get going. He looks to go to double figures. I mean, he's the guy that this offense runs through. I mean, he's the guy leading the break. He's the point guard. He's the floor general. He's the guy that dictates, I mean, dictating the paces, pace of the game. That's a deep three by Rio. No good. Rebounded by Charles. D Rock. Ball in his hand. Out of the way. Vega going underneath. Lays it up. Ooh, almost. Couldn't find it. Rio kicks it to the corner. Rashawn Brooks. That was a weird, what a weird three. Oh, net though. Nice shot there. Looked like me in high school. That weird shot shoots from his chest. Made it, that's all that counts. There should be a guy named Sean Marion who shoot like that. Rio going in, trying to go up and under. Gets him knocked away. Good defense by Bristol. Nice pass there by McCarthy. Laid it up and in is Morris. He gets fouled, knocked to the ground, score it. And it's 69 to 40. Malik Morris will step to the line for a three-point play. Sixty-nine forty, nine twenty-two to play. Seems like forever. This game is over. And Morris with a three-point play, the old-fashioned way. Boy, what about the impact that Malik Morris has made on this team? Just being inserted to the starting lineup, certainly. It's always a key reserve. Ooh, McCarthy loses control of it. Oh, somehow finds Vega underneath and lays it home. He's <laughs> passed there by McCarthy. That's why he's the number one assist leader in Region 21. And another turnover.
8.55 to play. Previous possession, Marcus McCarthy fading into the corner, threw a nice pass into the paint to Vega, who laid it up and in. That's why Marcus McCarthy leads the team in assists, placing him number one in region 21, number six in the country. Marcus McCarthy swooping into the hole. Got a finger rolled up, couldn't get it to go. Nice effort there by McCarthy. Slicing the defense, something he does so well. Mola strong all the way. Never looks like he's gonna get there, and then he's there. Got a good first step, that kid. Big kid. Mola. Oh, nice hesitation move. Marcus, I mean, Malik Morris gets the contact. And they're gonna get him to the go, they're gonna get him to go to the free throw line. Both teams have 16 fouls. 821 to go. 74 to 40. Bristol doing a lot better job here in the second half. A lot better effort, a lot more liveliness. Getting out on the fast break. And Bristol doing Bristol things. will pick up man after over half court. Coming up on eight minutes to play. Rio, jumper off the mark. Another rebound for Winbush. Finds Vega, streaking towards the hole. You won't stop it. 78 to 40. That's a great look. When you get a big man that has eyes like that, that can get the rebound and see a team in his going down court. Deacon can't get it to fall. And now the Bayhawks are just, just toying with Ben Franklin right now. You, know, you get a big man that can do so many things well like Winbush, I mean. Go to a championship. That's what it's all about this year. It's not about coming in second place. It's not about being runner-up. Going to the hole. Count it. Vega, two more. It's not about winning the MCCAC tournament, the Mass Massachusetts State tournament, which will which will not be in play this season. Bristol will advance right to the regionals the weekend of March 2nd. A little less than a month. And that's what it's all about. You win two games that weekend, you're going to the Nationals. It's all about the road to Minnesota, a place where a place that's eluded Coach Rob Del Lue, that's eluded Bristol Community College since its inception in 2009. Bristol Community College never reached the Nationals, and that's something that they've come up just short the last handful of seasons. They've had good teams, teams nationally ranked. Just solid teams. They've won the MCCAC tournament before. They've been to the regional finals before, just haven't been able to get over the hump. They went to overtime last year against Massasoit Community College in the regional final. Came up short in overtime, so close. And this year, Bristol Community College looking to get over the hump and take this team to the Nationals in Minnesota. Vega for three, no good. And yeah, they've shown that they can compete with the best teams in the country. They got the all-around talent. Athleticism. When you have a solid point guard like Marcus McCarthy and a big man like Josh Winbush, a guy that can do everything well, block shots, his inside presence, he can get you on the block, he can take you away from the basket, he can run the floor. Let's go. He can lob it up, he can lob it up to him. Like I said, he can get on the block, power basketball, when he wants to do it. He's going to want to do it. Wimbush. Lob it in. Inside. Vega. And Vega's another big kid. 6'4".
you know, if he could just start asserting himself and stop with the finesse, get his butt down there on the block and stop pounding the rock inside to him. You know he can take it, you know, you know he can run the floor, you know he can shoot the three. You know he's athletic, but he's another guy. Get, if he can get in the mix, do more of his damage inside, I mean, just gonna be more of a well-rounded team. 81 to 41. Coming up on six minutes to play. Crossing over. And not getting, not letting it, not, can't get it to fall there as number 10. At least Gilmore on the sixth to play. Again, Winbush on the block, face up. Loses control of it. Charles is there and puts it up and in. Malik Charles had himself a game a couple weeks ago. 16 points, 13 rebounds, and he needs another kid. Brooks couldn't get a shot off there. Oh, nice pass. Oh, McCarthy. Telegraph that one. Rio, bounce pass in the corner. The barrels, no good. Another rebound by Winslow. How many does he have? Oh, pick off. Bolo for three. Drains it. All right. Ben Franklin's going to call a timeout. We're going to take a timeout here. Here at Bishop Colony High School, home of the Bristol Community College Bayhawks. All right, you're watching uh, Bristol Community College basketball here on FR Media, your Bayhawks Broadcasting Network. I'm Brianna, and this is my mom, Virginia. My mom always dreamed about going to college, but with a full-time job and a family, I don't think she ever thought she could. Thanks to Bristol Community College, she was able to go to school on weekends, online, and close to home. Now she has a degree with very little student debt, and I can keep dancing. Now is the time to get the education you deserve. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. Hello everyone, David Cardoza here. On the call, 83 to 44. From Fall River, 513 to play. This one just about done. Baker in the corner, jumper no good. Winbush with the putback, two more for him. Had himself a monster game. He could go on baseline. You want to go against Winbush? Clean up the scraps there with barrels. The barrels for two. I think Winbush is present. That's a three pointer. McCarthy, no good. Rebound by Freeman. Inside. Winbush to a cutting. Vega, no good. Trying to tip it home with McCarthy. Just couldn't get enough of it. Nice shot there on the lane. Gilmore gets it to go home. So what's next? What's next for these Bristol Bayhawks? Well, they don't have a game this weekend. Boat 18 foot jumper there by Vega. And he's starting to he's starting to score. It will. It's blocked there by Vega. McCarthy still looking to push. Ooh, try to get that into the teeth of the defense. Telegraphs it. Going back the other way. The barrels for two more. 87 to 50. Give credit to Ben Franklin. They're playing hard to the end. McCarthy finds it open, Charles. Through the zone. Assist for Charles. I'm oh, sorry for McCarthy. He keeps to put up those assist numbers. Driving the baseline, losing it. Oh, nice bounce pass to a streak to Vega, who was going for the highlight reel dunk. Charles hoop it in, lays it in. Malik. Oh, steal the inbound pass to McCarthy. What did I tell you about the uh, about Bristol? About 10, 15 minutes into that first half. I mean they weren't they weren't scoring they weren't scoring with the darn. 40 points, 
modest, modest number at the half. Oh, nice pass. How'd it get there? Oh, Charles trying to flip it to Greenwood. Put up the band. We're jamming. 95-50. I hope you like jamming, too. Steve, you know that song. <laughs> Karaoke tonight. Karaoke Thursdays. Deacon, three point is no good. Loose ball and a putback by Gilmore. Coming up on two minutes to play. Bristol still playing fast. Inside, Wimbush is an animal. He's just an animal. Two more for him. Can't even keep up on my stat sheet over here. He's going to rip that up. Well, 97 to 52, as I was saying. Bayhawks offense looked very stagnant, but as I said before, they could put up points up, they could put points up quick. Wimbush to a stricting Vega. He wants to get in on the band too. 99 to 52, minute 35 to play, timeout on the floor. You're watching Bristol Community College basketball on your Bayhawks broadcast in there. I'm Brianna, and this is my mom, Virginia. My mom always dreamed about going to college, but with a full-time job and a family, I don't think she ever thought she could. Thanks to Bristol Community College, she was able to go to school on weekends, online, and close to home. Now she has a degree with very little student debt, and I can keep dancing. Now is the time to get the education you deserve. Your dreams are within reach. All right, we're gonna join you back. It wasn't a timeout. A little referee time out there. As Deacon dumps his body in and might have picked up a foul there. Both teams have 17 fouls. As I was saying, what's next for Bristol? Bristol looking to improve to 23 and 2. This will be 21 and 1 in Region 21. As number 21 at the line, Charles Deacon drains the first one. Next game is CCRI on the road next Tuesday, February 12th. So they're on the road next week, all week, next Thursday, next Saturday, I guess Northern, es next Northern Essex Community College. Oh, yeah, Rodriguez from the wing, D-Rod for three. And Bristol once again will cross that century mark. 102 to 53, showing why they're one of the highest scoring teams in the country. They can put up points. Three-pointer, way off. D-Rod from, from the other wing, no good. How about we give a shout-out to those Super Bowl champion Patriots for the Super Bowl. Winning two of the last three. They've gone to four of the last five. Winning three of the last five Super Bowls. Yes, it's still a dynasty. We're still here. One oh two to fifty three. Muller at the line. He's had himself a good little game. I think just with Ben Franklin, they just haven't had they just haven't had the wheels, so to speak. They haven't had the athleticism to match with Bristol, who has athleticism and speed and, you know, a six foot seven stalwart at their, dis at their disposal. Yeah, Ben Franklin just didn't have a lot of, you know, guys that can shoot or get their shot off. You know, Tommy Rio looked pretty promising. He hurt his ankle. He's on the bench right now for the Chargers, but another another offensive uh, outburst. Ooh, Santos trying to get on the action. He scored. A really, really Bristol player has got in on the action, scoring-wise. And Dominic Santos will score a bucket. And that shot rebounded by Morris, and that's going to be it. Bristol doesn't have to take another shot. McCarthy will take it across the timeline. Seconds will Tick off the clock. Three, two, one. The buzzer sounds. And that is it. Another Bristol victory.
104 to 53 the score. That's going to be your final score here from Bishop Colony High School. Everybody's going to go down. Ursula is going to go down, and we're going to see who the player of the game is. I think we already know. Bayhawks wrap up. Bristol Community College with a 104 to 53 victory. And what a game. What a game by uh, Josh Winbush. Um, he's going to be our Bayhawks player of the game. Definitely finishing with a double double. 30 points from the big man from New Orleans, from Lake Charles, Louisiana. A lot of his family watching. Give a shout out to all of them, the Winbush family. Your man did a great job today. He was immense with about six dunks. So the Bayhawks will improve to 23 and two. And they are still there, the number five team in the country and they are rolling, baby. So the final score again, 104 to 53. Bayhawks with the victory. Stay tuned for more Bayhawks basketball in the future. We'll be back with you on February 19th. There'll be a doubleheader. The women's team in action first at six, but we'll be live with you um, via live stream and live on FR Media on February 19th against Bunker Hill Community College. That should be a showdown. Don't miss that game. Bunker Hill um, gave Bristol their only loss in Region 21 early on the season in December. If those two teams don't like each other. That's going to be a big game there. And then the last game against Quinsigamon Community College on Saturday, February 23rd. And it's going to be the last game of the season, sophomore night. So stay tuned for that. And then it's the postseason, baby. So I'm David Cardoza. Thank you all for watching on our Facebook live stream on our Bristol Community College Athletics page. And we're going to sign off here. Thank you all for watching. Bayhawks are, vic are victors again. Stay tuned for more Bayhawks basketball in the future. Good night, everybody.